Introducing how to use the inventory module. First, to access the inventory module, log in with your four digit PIN, then tap the three lines on the top left, and there on the bottom, you can see inventory. From this module, I can do four different things. First, I can add an item to my inventory, enter in all the relevant information, name, price, and the category, and anything else I'd like to add. I can also scan an item and update its stock, scan an item and print a label, and also bulk print several items labels. First, to show it in action, let's go ahead and give an item a scan. Now, if I have a scanner, I can hit my button, scan the barcode. If I don't have one, I can tap the scanner icon that you see there in the middle of the screen. And so doing it activates the camera of my iPad, and now I can scan the barcode. With the barcode scanned, you can see that it's been added into the screen. Next, I'm gonna tap the button, update stock. Now from this window, it shows my quantity in hand. If I would like to enable or disable tracking inventory, if I would like to enable or disable negative inventory, and if I'd like to adjust stock. Today, I wanna to receive 10 of these. Now, if I wanted to, if I had a barcode scanner and I kept scanning the item, it would be increasing the stock adjustment. So for an example, if I have a case of 12 bottles of something, I could scan each barcode and it would increase the stock by 12. Here, you can also see an option to put down a note as to why I'm adding stock. Am I fixing the count manually or am I receiving a shipment? We're gonna say I'm receiving a shipment. Now, with the stock adjustment plus what I had in four, you can see my total quantity becomes 10. Additionally, I can update the cost of goods and I can update the sale price. Once I've completed everything, I can tap the save button on the top right. Next, if I want, I can print a label. To do so, once again, I'm gonna grab my barcode and tap print label. From here, I can tell the system how many I would like to print. And lastly, I can also bulk print several different items and their labels. To do so, tap the bulk print button. Next, search for an item. Once you type in an item or word or letter, you can tap the search button to find that within your catalog. Once I've added all the items that I wanna print the labels for, on the very bottom, I can put down how many level labels I wanna print for each of them. Go ahead and print five labels of each and then tap the print button. And that is how to use the inventory module.